CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. This video is to show you how important power and cabling are when it comes to running coax cameras. I'm logged into a camera system where we have two channels that are no longer producing video and one that is. So if you look at this particular channel, you'll see there's a little battery indicator. I'll bring it full screen here. If you see this appearing in one of your cameras, that means the camera is not getting enough power. It could be a number of reasons. It could be the power supply, the amperage, how far you're running cable, the quality of your cable, how you have your connectors crimped, uh, or if you're using one power supply to provide power to your DVR and to your cameras. There's a lot of different aspects of it, and for that, you have to refer to our support department if you've actually purchased from us. Our support department will help you determine what the root cause is, it's all installation specific. Now, what I'm going to show you here in this camera is at nighttime, you see this battery indicator appearing. It's here when I'm in a four camera view. And I'm going to fast forward the video from this is around 5 a.m. at night. Notice channel four is producing no video at all. It's blank, it's dark. The reason for that being is it's not getting adequate power at all to turn on, even like this is so that it can, its image sensor can turn on while its IRs are on. So the image sensor on this camera has decided to not turn on. It may be the IRs are on on it. F to be able to see that, you have to actually walk up to the camera at nighttime and look at it and see are the IRs glowing red. If that's the case, and they are glowing red, that means the camera's sensor has just decided to, or it's not getting adequate power and has decided to not come on. But when I fast forward this to uh, about 6, let's say 6.49 a.m., and you'll see here it's daytime the sun is rising and this camera and also here the battery icon disappeared or that's just telling you there's not enough voltage or amperage getting there so this camera's icon disappeared it's getting adequate power why because at nighttime irs consume more power that's why i was telling you there's low power and at daytime the irs turn off and it's no longer telling you that because the power is adequate for it to function during the day without needing um, the irs on on here these can this channel the camera turned on when there was adequate light from the sun rising just enough so that it triggered the photo sensor on the camera to switch from night mode to day mode and now the irs are off and the sensor is back on and it's producing an image that's the reason why this is working. So if you have cameras that are cycling where they turn off at nighttime and they turn on in daytime for any coax camera, uh, even for IP, let's say, then it's an issue with power. Again, like I said, there's several factors associated with power delivery. And um, But if you have a coax camera and you're getting a battery indicator, especially at nighttime, this is a telltale sign that you're not getting enough voltage on this coax camera. Some of our coax cameras do tell you by displaying this voltage or battery indicator icon that, hey, you're not getting enough voltage. These cameras do not have a battery. It's just an icon meant to show you that, hey, you got to put more juice in the line. Now, you know, of course, these are 12 volt DC cameras. You've got to make sure you provide the correct amount of voltage. You don't provide over voltage. You'll fry the camera under voltage. The camera will just not turn on, which is in this case here. Now, notice, again, to drill home the point, adequate power makes that indicator go away. And adequate power brings this camera back on. Now, this channel stays black. It, it was behaving like this camera here where it would turn off at nighttime and turn on in daytime, but now it's not turning on at all. It could be the power supply on that camera is no longer producing any power and it's fried. So these are things that one has to troubleshoot and figure out based on how they've installed it, the kind of cabling they're using, the power supplies they're using, how they have the power supplies connected to multiple cameras. Hopefully this provides you some insight into how to manage your coax security camera system. Again, this was a 12 volt coax BNC Siamese system. So now you've, at, you've determined the issue that you have. How do you get support for it? First, you have to be a purchasing customer from CCTV Camera World and provide us your order number and email us pictures of where your cameras are mounted number one how the camera cable is coming into the camera so take some general view pictures of that um, third how you have your power supplies connected indoors to the camera and the dvr so take some general overview pictures of that 
it gives us an idea as if we were an installer coming back to troubleshoot our location to see what was done and how the wiring was run to the cameras, number one. So these are only some of the things. The other uh, fourth is provide a picture of the label and the power supply you're using to make sure that it's the correct voltage and amperage. And these are just a few things we would need at a minimum to start the conversation to investigate why you're having these sort of issues. Obviously, the golden test to see if a camera is defective or non-operational, and if it's, to, if it's your cabling that's the issue, you take the camera, you dismount it, like for example, like this one, you dismount it from where it's located, you bring it inside, you use a 12 volt, one amp adapter, that's what this camera needs, plug it straight into the camera's pigtail and take a short BNC cable, like a three footer, we have three foot testing cable, we sell them as a, you know, just for that reason, and then you basically plug it into your DVR, put it in a dark room, you turn the light on, camera's photo sensor basically says there's light, the IRs turn off, you turn the light off, and then see what happens. If the camera's IR turns on in your completely dark room and you can, as you see the camera still producing video, then you know it's not a camera issue, it is a cable issue or a power supply issue because it could be the power supply is fine, but you ran a too cheap of a cable, a low quality cable, the copper conductor on the power is not good, or your cable is just too long and the power is not adequate. High resolution HD over coax cameras tend to consume more power, and uh, that's a frequent issue we encounter with uh, high resolution coax cameras and something that we have to troubleshoot. Hopefully, that gives you some insight in how to address this problem and how to get help from us. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.